Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily Lucy Ratch. If you are new here, I am a Instagram and TikTok mid-size, size 12, size 14, fashion and beauty blogger, I guess. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk to you about summer styles. So yeah, summer for me is like hit and miss. Sometimes I'm like, oh my god, I love summer, like there's so many nice dresses, I'm happy to be in a bikini, denim shorts, and then the day comes where I actually have to go somewhere in public, and I'm like, oh my god, I hate summer dresses, I hate it, I hate everything's tight, denim shorts are literally cutting my legs in half, I just feel so self-conscious, I'm so jiggly, nothing fits me, so I have a real love-hate relationship with summer. But today, if you are in this frame of mind like me, where you do dread certain outfits for certain occasions, I'm here to help. I've literally gone through so many different brands now to try and find the best selection of summer dresses possible. Well, I say summer dresses, there's a few different little bits in there, but predominantly summer dresses. Every one that I talk to you about now, I think is flattering, and that is the biggest thing for me. And that's why this video is called Flattering Dresses. If you're like me and you are bottom heavy, you can find feel a little bit misrepresented by brands where you know you can see online what something would look like for somebody who is plus size now, which is amazing. And you can also see what something would look like on a model who's a size six to eight. But you don't really see many of us size twelve girls just rocking around on, you know, websites wearing clothes and saying this is what it's gonna look like. So my goal is to try lots of things on that are flattering and I think suit my body and then help you guys to also feel the same. I love so much when you guys message me saying you've bought one of the outfits that I've suggested and you feel amazing in it. I've literally just had a DM now from a girl saying she has just gone into town for the first time in ages. She's wearing a bodysuit with some blue jeans which I've suggested and it's the most confident she's ever felt. And that to me is the best feeling in the world because I know full well how it feels feeling so shit about yourself because of what you are wearing and you're just like why am I putting myself through this especially when you put something on it doesn't fit you just like I feel awful but just buy a bigger size sizing is just something that's been made just so brands can you know give sizes each brand their size 12 is completely different to another brand so I don't care about sizing I'm not bothered to say that I'm a size 12 14 10 8 16, whatever, it doesn't matter, like, if it fits, it fits, if I feel good in it, I feel good in it, and that's what's all important to me. So, now I've rambled on for a good 10 minutes about that, I'm going to start showing you some of the bits that I've chosen for today's haul. So, the first one is from Pretty Little Thing. I did post this already on my Instagram and TikTok, but it is this gorgeous little sage play suit, like, hello, beaut. When I saw this online, I was like... Again, the same scenario. It was a size 6 or an 8 model and I was just like, I don't know if that's going to look nice on me at all because I've got big hips, big bum, lower belly, little chubby little lower belly, I've got big boobs, my arms are like flab city right now. So I was like, right, it's going to be low cut. It's got this little peplum Mary at the front which I'm hoping is flattering this bit. Let's give it a go. And thankfully, as you can see here, it's really flattering. Like, I was shocked at how flattering it was. The low back, I just love. Obviously, I don't think you can wear a bra with this. I'm not wearing a bra in this video. But I just love it. Like, it just felt, it felt good. And that's why I'm really starting with this little play suit because I just felt gorge walking around in this. I can just imagine like a really nice hot day, maybe at the races or going for drinks with the girls or a nice meal with my boyfriend. Like it's just, it's just nice. So it's one of those I think you can get out every year as well. A holiday, perfect. Cause it's obviously slightly revealing what I'm going to show, which is obviously what you want on holiday. You can be a bit more risque. So yeah, first, first one on the list is this beautiful little Beautiful little play suit, and I've got that one in a 12. I've known a few girls bought that from um, my haul that I did on Instagram and TikTok and sent me pictures on it, and I was like, yes, 
looking fire. So I know for a fact that one is a good buy because I've seen at least five different girls who bought it and sent me pictures all look sensational in it. And that one is, I can't remember the top of my head how much it is actually. I've taken the label off. I actually hung it up because I was like, you can stay, like I proper hung it up. So let me try and find it quickly on my phone. So if you're lucky for this as well, everything is linked below. And if you are watching this on the big screen and you don't want to click off the video and you're on your phone, then go to my Instagram and go to the summer, summer style highlight. All of my links are there, you can just swipe up and it's, it's in there. This is £22. £22. I, that's, I would say recommended. Tick. Next we have this little play suit. And again, I showed this on my PLT summer haul on TikTok and on Instagram. But I'm going to give it a bit of a more close up. I got these in a 14 and I do feel like they were quite big on me. But I liked it that they weren't tight like I don't know about you guys but when I I got cycling shorts on right now so this probably won't give the best example but literally when I'm gonna jump on my chair so I look an absolute crazy person when <laughs> hello here I'm just gonna put them on this is probably the best idea so if they're too tight like this it gives this awful like V here which because I carry weight here makes me look awful like i've just got this like a giant gusset <laughs> so if i get them a little bit baggier it's a lot more flattering so as much as they are like quite big here i actually think fit wise it's better to have them a little bit baggier so they're not like unflattering so that's how they look but i'm going to show you right now how they look as a two piece so love the little top i got the top in the 12 and I've teamed it up with those little earrings and yeah just like really like nice little vibe i love that you could wear this on holiday with flats or you could wear it with heels like i've teamed up here um and these earrings or you could just do it as like a bit of a ibiza day going for lunch kind of vibe or even in just like your local town to go for like a little shopping trip in that and feel cute summer barbecue it's a nice little two-piece and i think i'm really out of breath from standing on the chair guys like this is not okay <laughs> yeah i really think you can like dress it up or dress that down and it's one of those that you can get out every year and team it up either the shorts on its own or you could team the top up with jeans like there's other different things you can do with it so i'm a fan okay next we've got this little polka dot dress from i saw it first and i just love this like i've put this as one of my hauls on TikTok on Instagram as like an everyday dress because I don't know about you guys but in summer as I mentioned at the start of this video I'm just like I don't know what to wear like I'll just wear the same thing like at the minute I'm living in cycling shorts because it's hot and I like to walk around in those if I'm going for like a walk or whatever um but like say I wanted to wear something quite loose to go shopping in or I wanted to feel summery because it's a hot day or I'm going to Anthony's my boyfriend's mum's and dad's house and I wanted to like not be naked, I want to be respectful, I don't want to be like bending over and my boobs are hanging out or bending down and my ass is showing. So there's like summer everyday dresses that are appropriate. Like you're not too naked, you're still respectful, you're cool and you still look stylish at the same time. Like you're not over ventilating because you're in like a smock up to here. Like there's loads of different, you know, benefits to having like a nice everyday dress that you can throw on, you know it's going to look nice and you're gonna be calling it. Got that one in a 12. Just check, I've got that one in a 12. Yes, I've got that one in a 12. I just love it. I think it's really pretty. I love the little sleeve detail. And again, like I said, I didn't feel like I was on show. Like, as you can see from the video, I'm not like naked, I'm covered. And I just think it's a really nice, classy dress. And I suppose like if you did wanna dress it up, you could, you could put it with some nice heels and, um, like even like for the races I suppose you could do or christening or wedding or something like that you could put like a nice white hat with it really dress it with a clutch bag um, and yeah it's quite universal but for me I want that as like a dress where I feel comfortable in it and I'm going to go into my friend's house or Anthony's friend's house and I'm not going to think they're going to look at me like why is she looking like a hooker from Grand Theft Auto like I want to I want to look respectful in certain scenarios but not over like heating with the layers of clothes so that one's a good one for that and 
it is, so I need to find the price, it's £30, but you can use my code, which is, which is M Emily LR 30 and you get 30% off on top of everything, um, and it's this one, look, I said first, £30, I don't know if you can see, because, there we go, delish, and right now, sizing wise, they have only 14s, but they have 12s, but I thought, size wise, it was really flattering, so, that was a good one, okay, Next, we're flying through these. Boohoo. So, love my boohoo. Love my boohoo dresses. I think the quality is from boohoo is really good always. Like, I've never once thought, hmm, that's a bit rough. Like, they always deliver on quality. And I think price wise is quite good as well. Um, but sizing, like, no. If you want to feel shit about yourself, buy your own size from Boohoo because they are just not the one for size wise. I just have to always go up. Even when I've been like, trim to go on holiday like whenever I go on holiday I'm always like right I'm gonna really get in good shape and go hit the gym and stuff and I still have to size up from boohoo like they're just they're just not made for the for the legs do you know what I mean so this occasion I was pleasantly surprised so I'm gonna show you two dresses at once so they're both extremely similar but at the time I couldn't decide because in this one which has got the little just check them in this red. Yeah. This one, which has got this top, so there's no ties here, it's just like a jersey material. They need a size 10. So I was like, mm, let's be honest, we know that we're already a size 14 in Boohoo because they're big. But then I got this one with the tie sides, which I'm showing you in a sec, which is very similar again, in a size 12. But I knew that I liked this first one better, so I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to risk it, I'm going to take a risk, and I'm going to say size 10. Let's just live on the wild side. And it fitted, and it fitted so well, I was shocked. So everything I've said about the size of Boohoo, does it, does it apply in summer? Does it not apply? Like what? It's just literally taking a risk. Like honestly, some of the trousers I've bought from Boohoo in a 14, or shorts in a 14, I've been like... <laughs> Jesus Christ, these are so small. But then this, in a size 10, fits me perfect. But I know why, it's the leg. So anything leg related from Boohoo, size up. Anything top related, true to size. This material as well, stretchy. Honestly, this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this dress for years. Like I love this on, I felt really good. I've chopped my head off in the clips because it was the day after I was in a rush when I first filmed the other bit, so I chopped my head off. Um, but I just love it. I think it's so pretty. Holiday, day to day things. Yeah, it doesn't cover the whole idea of like bending over, but sometimes I'll put these like little black cycling shorts on like I've got on today. Oh! It blows. My boot is out. But, oh shit. But it's not like I'm wearing a thong or some French knickers or something that people are going to be like, Jesus Christ, there's our ass. So, you know. The skaters, they're not flattering in terms of when you bend over or hiding your shame. But if you if you wear these little cycling shorts like this rolled up, you can get away with it and no one's gonna think anything because you're not gonna see a VPL because it's floaty. So this one, highly recommend as well, love it. This one, I wasn't the biggest fan. I didn't like the sleeves, I felt like it was too big. It was like puffing here, it was too gapy here. It was a bit too, like, no, I think it was a size, I'm guessing again, like, if it was a size 10, I probably would really like it. But when this one is so good and it's so similar, this one wins. This one definitely wins. And that one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check the price of that one. That one, my friends, is £11.25 right now. And there's only size 12 left, so we need to hurry up on that one, do you know what I mean? Linked below or on swipe ups. But this one, I'm, I'm a fan, real big fan. This one, not so much. Okay. Next, we have Pretty Little Thing, again, so this one I was filming for TikTok and Instagram to do a haul and as I was filming I had to stop halfway through and jump on my Instagram stories just to let everyone know that there was only a few sizes left in it because I couldn't wait until I put it live because I was just so in love with this dress. Guys, I'm just in the middle of filming a haul, like a summer dresses haul, but I have to stop halfway through to shout this dress out because I know there's only a few left in stock and I don't need to miss out because I am like 
in love right now. So it's all ruched. It's like a silky material, all ruched. It's mega flattering on your belly. And then it's got this really nice open area here. Then on the back, again, it's all ruched. So it gives like a really nice shape. It's a good length. I'm just like, this is the same. Yeah, I feel like this is a proper vibe that you are just like, feeling sexy, but girly at the same time. Flattering, the ruche on the belly. You're not gonna be like, wearing a body con dress thinking, oh, you can literally see my little belly. Like, it's just perfectly flattering. And I just think it's a real vibe. Like, you could definitely get that out every year. And it's not gonna like, date. It's not got anything too like, crazy going on. This like, style of like, milkmaid top, half has been rocking around for a long time now so I think you probably get a good a good few summer wears out of that and I'm just in love with it like I literally can't wait to have an event to go wear it too like oh what you want to go for drinks yeah I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready for it I'm here just give me just give me a call let me know when you want to go for cocktails what Boris it's open the bars the bars are open okay great I'm ready that's how ready I am in this dress do you know what I mean okay next I sew it first this one so this one I've been eyeing up for a while and I'm really upset that I got it in a big size. I don't know why but I got it in a large and I should have got it in a medium. But I've kind of made it work because obviously it's, you can tell it's too baggy. So I've added the belt and I've made it more low cut which you can see here. Um, so it's obviously not the most appropriate to wear like in certain situations. But I was thinking like a day at the races with that and like a nice hat is sexy. It's like sexy but summery but girly, but cute. Or if you are like a little like lacy, um, like a body underneath it, where so you you could just like have a little bit on show. It wasn't like that booby. Then I definitely think you could wait to a wedding. Like it's just such a stunning dress. Or even like a festival. Like obviously we're not having festivals anytime soon. But you can wait to a festival like low like that with maybe like a bikini top underneath it. Or if you wanted to just be brave and like let the girls out, then you could and wear it with like Doc Martins or a little boots, like a nice hat. Like I just think it's just such a gorgeous dress. Like I just love the colour. If you're a brunette, then girl, this is your shade. I mean blonde as well. Like this is just a beautiful colour. Like I love lilac. I think it's made a big big comeback and I just think it's such a beautiful dress I love that I'm not really a maxi length girl because I'm so short I'm 5'2 so it's not really you know the, the the length vibe for me but because it's got the slit and you can undo the little bit there and yeah I just I was vibing it I really liked it I felt I felt sexy but girly but cool do you know what I mean like oh bit boho like it was a bit different for me I liked it the vibe and next we've got pretty little thing so <laughs> the day that I shot the other bits where I'm wearing the outfit I put this on and I liked it so much that was the day that I filmed the hauls for TikTok and Instagram um I liked it so much that I wore it straight away so it is a little bit dirty <laughs> this is just pretty bad I don't know if you can see but I've got like a bit of tomato ketchup on it like I was just do you know what I mean like I was living my best life like I was at my, one of my best friends we're having a sausage having a burger having a cocktail wearing my little pretty woman dress I felt fab do you know what I mean like I felt really fab so I got a bit carried away got a bit ketchup on it so <laughs> I'm not going to show you that bit but um and as well one of the straps so this one's meant to have like a crisscross at the back but literally as soon as I put it on one of the straps broke but I wasn't mad about it do you know and you're just like I'm actually really glad that straps broke because I don't like the extra strap it's just not necessary so I've hidden those and I put them in there and it's just like a two spaghetti strap now and this one is a size 12 love it I literally felt so good in it I put the little black um, belt around it and teamed it up with the black bag and yeah I just felt like it's such a like cute little barbecue vibe which is what I went for or even if we're gonna go to like obviously it's not open yet but if we're gonna go for a pub on a Sunday and it's hot and like I'm gonna wear this little strappy dress I felt good my boobs felt secure could wear a strapless bra with it and then it wasn't sort of see-through at all like literally look not see-through which again with white dresses is just a nightmare you literally like oh my god you can see my ass I wore the little cycling shorts underneath it just in case I got carried away and was like a bit too sassy with the cocktails and you know bending over and everyone's just like there's Emily's bum. So I thought you know what I'll wear the little shorts just in case I bend over or a gust of wind comes and embarrasses me. So you couldn't even see them which was amazing. Obviously it's white and I was wearing black shorts so I recommend this one. Pretty little thing and I just thought I'll get this out every year. As long as I can keep it clean and get these stains out then this is a definite keeper every year get that out. 
we're, get, we're getting through these. I know there's quite a lot, but we actually are getting through these. Then we've got Boohoo. Last week I was choosing some bits from Boohoo and I saw it come back in stock in white because it comes in red, black and white. And I saw it come back in stock in a 12. Um, I literally love this dress. Like it will be so good for just like little events. Obviously not a wedding because it's a bit bridal with the lace, but christening, a little summer party, even like something a bit more dressy where you have to like get dressed up, like races, something like that perfect i feel so like cute in it and it fits really nice i love the little back detail where it's like that kind of back so again you, you don't have to wear a bra with it or you have to get like a low bra to wear with it but it's just such a gorgeous summer dress that every you can get out and be like a white dress so yeah i think that one's a massive massive keeper there we go i can't remember how many i've showed you but i've just showed you a lot like literally the pile on the floor right now is horrific so <laughs> i hope you enjoyed that and I will be back with more videos. If you haven't already, check me out on TikTok or Instagram. I try and share loads of different videos on each platform. So on here, TikTok and Instagram. They might be similar or they might have the same items, but I've done them in a different way to break it down, keep things interesting. So you'll want to follow me on every single platform. I'm also starting a girl gang, which is going to be, um, if you feel like me, where you're a little bit misrepresented with brands, you're size 12 or 14 and you're like, where is my part in this fashion industry then it's here with us so every month i'm now starting a live on instagram where it's going to be called group chat where we're going to go live we're going to have a talk literally like we're all together in a room chatting on the live and i'm like the host like you come around to my house that's what it's going to be like um and then we'll just like see how it goes from there and then we're going to start a actual group chat for us all to have like you know, when something goes back in stock or when something new hits and I hear from a brand that they're doing something, I can be like, girl group chat, got some news for you. And it'll, you guys will be the first to know. So yeah, we're kind of on that hype at the minute where we're building a community of people who feel like me. And I know there's quite a few of you out there who, you know, feel like you don't know where you fit. You're not the plus size, you're not the model. Where do we fit? We're a mid-sized gang. So yeah. If you're interested, then head to my Instagram and click on the size 12 group chat highlight and there'll be more information on there. Thanks for watching, guys. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe so I can do more of these because, like I said, I'm not really a por I'm not really a landscape girl. I'm a portrait girl. So the more that I do and the more that I see you like these, the better I'll get at them and I'll create more videos. So please be nice. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, follow me, tell me if you thought this was shit or good so I know to make it better or worse, okay? Alright, thanks guys, really appreciate it.